What is going on members of the barrio? It's John coming to you from in front of the Hudson River in downtown Manhattan. And today, Adriana and I are gonna try something I've always wanted to do as a New York City resident, and that is ride a sailboat on the Hudson River. We're getting a chance today, courtesy of Tribeca Sailing. I think this is gonna be one heck of an afternoon. All right, Adriana, what do you think? I'm really excited. It's my first time sailing anywhere, like not just in New York, in my entire life. I've never done it before, so let's do it. Nice to meet you, John. Pleasure. Hey, Brandon. Nice to meet you. Hey, Brandon. Pleasure with you as well. And what we're going to do is we're going to go out, make a right turn, and I'm going to ask one of you two to drive, probably you. Okay. Probably you. <laughs> uh, for about a minute while I put the sail up, and then after that, we're going to turn left, we'll head to uh, Port, head down to the Statue of Liberty where we're going to get you right underneath the nose for a fantastic view. You're going to be driving some sailing. Some might argue you have one of the best jobs in the world. I would say I do. Look what I do. 99.9% of all my customers are happy to be out here and really enjoy themselves. Alright, I'm going to attempt to walk to the front of the boat. We are just sailing right now, so Captain David gave me the thumbs up. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, almost tripped, almost tripped, almost tripped. He said, hold on, and I'm holding on, and I'm here. We're going straight to the Statue of Liberty, which is there. Well, I will say this, I have never been in the middle of the Hudson River before. It's like we're the only boat in the middle at the moment, which is really, really cool. I'm kind of enjoying views from both New Jersey and New York. We've got New York, New Jersey. Of course I'm gonna film you. Oh God. I made it. You made it. Yeah. All right, Adriana did it. Now it is my turn to try sailing the boat. Your job right now is to see that great octagon shaped building off the yeah. I want you to head for that. Okay. Alright, so the wind is going to increase, decrease in strength, and so that's going to pull the boat to starboard or port, starboard to right, port okay. left. Your job is just to don't fight it, let it happen, but make small adjustments. Okay. The best part about sailing is you don't want to fight the wind and the waves, you just want it to happen naturally, and then just nudge the boat into the direction that you want to go. nature she's going to increase and decrease in strength and as she increases the boat's going to want to move to the left and as she decreases the boat's going to want to move to the right so that's when you have to make small adjustments as the house. The steering wheel feels so big for me. I'm like a little kid who just snuck to the front look. <laughs> After about 10 minutes of sailing, I'm just making tiny little adjustments on the wheel and it's so much easier. So really not as hard as I originally thought it was. At least, I mean, the conditions here aren't, would you say they're challenging at all with the waves right now? It's really challenging. Really? Yes. It's really challenging. All right, so Adriana and I are about to get a front row seat for the Statue of Liberty, which is probably the greatest selling point of going on a sailboat tour on the Hudson. Hey! Oh my God. This is the absolute closest I have ever been in my entire life to the Statue of Liberty. Are you guys ready? And the closest you can actually get here is inside these little white buoys. So we are as close as you can legally be to the Statue of Liberty on a boat. This is like a, an Instagram or a photographer's dream right now to get this close. Adriana is going wild here. So who is the, uh, the most famous person you've ever had aboard? Tara. 
a Friday night, I got a very strange phone call from the Secret Service asking me about what I do for a living. And after telling them, they told me to show up at the dock at 3 p.m. At 3 p.m. the next day, the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, walks down the dock to my surprise. Wow. Uh, he got on the boat and uh, we sailed him to the Statue of Liberty with his wife, Sophie. And uh, afterwards, he asked me a few questions about my life as a sailor and living, what's it like to live in New York. And after pictures, I was begging him. I loved him so much to become our president. He's so wonderful. <laughs> Great guy. He's uh, probably one of the most magical sales I've ever had. The great thing about being on the boat right now is that even though it's about 82 degrees, you cannot feel it uh, out on the Hudson River. And I mean, the views are just spectacular everywhere you look. Sit in the front if you want the best views, trust me. Sadly, all good things must come to an end. We're almost back. All right, members of the barrio, that was probably one of the coolest things I have ever done living in New York City, just you know, having that small sailboat experience. And if you wanna go sail on Terra, I'm gonna leave a link down below to try Becca Sailing. I thought Captain David was a really cool guy, somebody that you would have no problem spending a couple of hours with. Definitely uh, check them out, tell them that I sent you. Uh, definitely be sure to subscribe if you're new here. Still got a lot coming out in New York City. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. I call a drunk sailor. You like me. <laughs> <laughs>